What's faster than a missile and smarter than a drone? Israel's just deployed Lightning Shield, or Barack Megan. For the first time ever, this next-gen air defense system was fired from a naval warship to intercept Iranian drones. And it worked flawlessly. But what exactly is Barack Megan? How is it different from the Iron Dome? And why is it a game-changer for Israel's offshore defense strategy? We explain. Barak Megan, which means lightning shield in Hebrew, is Israel's brand new naval air defense system. It's the sea-based version of the Barak MX system, created by Israel Aerospace Industries. Built specifically for Israel's Navy, it's designed to take down a range of aerial threats, drones, cruise missiles, sea to land projectiles, and even some ballistic weapons. On June 15th, in the dead of night, eight drones from Iran were heading toward Israeli targets. Israel's Sayar 6 class missile ship, equipped with Barak Megan, sprang into action. The result? All eight drones were destroyed mid-air. This was the first time Barak Megan was used in real combat, and it didn't miss. The Barak Megan works on a modular interceptor system. That means it can deploy different missiles depending on the threat. Here's how far each interceptor can go. Barak MRAD, up to 35 kilometers. Barak LRAD, up to 70 kilometers. Barak ER, a massive 150 kilometers range. What makes it special? These missiles launch vertically, giving them 360 degree coverage and the ability to counter multiple threats from all directions. The backbone of Barack Megan is the MF Star radar, a powerful EL-M 2248 sensor that detects and tracks incoming threats in real time. Paired with electro-optical sensors, this setup gives the Corvettes a precise eye in the sky, critical when tracking small, fast-moving drones. These systems work together to detect, assess, and eliminate threats, all from the middle of the sea. The Barak Megan needs a strong platform, and that's the Sayar 6 class Corvette. Each of these 1,900 ton vessels carries air defense weapons, anti ship missiles, torpedoes, electronic warfare gear, and real time command systems. Their main job protect Israel's offshore gas fields and sea trade routes, especially its 26,000 square kilometers exclusive economic zone. With Barak Megan on board, these ships are now floating fortresses. Israel's usual defenses, Iron Dome, David Sling, are great for high-altitude threats. But low-flying, cheap drones? That's a harder problem. Iran and its proxies like Hezbollah or the Houthis are using more UAVs. That's why Israel needed Barak Megan, to stop these threats before they get close. Since the conflict began, Israel's navy has taken down at least 25 drones, many using Barak Megan and the Sea Dome system, the maritime cousin of Iron Dome. India is involved too, not with Barak Megan itself, but with its cousin, Barak 8. This system, co-developed by II and India's DRDO, can be used on land and sea. It protects against aircraft, cruise missiles, drones, and even some ballistic missiles. In fact, Barak 8's recent use during Operation Sindor helped push international sales to over $1.2 billion, showing just how important these joint defense efforts have become. From land to sea, Israel's defense game is evolving. And Barack Megan is now at the front lines, shielding cities, waters, and energy lifelines from a new age of drone warfare.